Hello everybody. We are now on the con floor. Sabotin Con 2021 is open. The exhibit hall is is live and people are walking around buying stuff. It's been a long time since I've had this type of atmosphere and who look who's with me? It's Rem. It's Bunny Rem. Lucky is cosplaying a maid bunny rem. A very uh <laughs> <laughs> a very spicy made bunny ram. So, it's we we've, we've been down here for about 2 minutes. How how do you how how is what, what do you what do you think? It's been a long time since you've walked around in this type of um, environment. I feel so germophobic. <laughs> you feel, you feel, I feel so germophobic. Yeah, so yeah, apparently yeah. She's she she's feeling very germophobic, which you know, after after 18 months of constantly sanitizing your hands, washing your hands, keeping you know socially distancing yourself from everybody, it's it's hard to get used to. But you know, so yeah. With all that said, I am going to show you the cosplays, the outfits, the artists, the attendees, the awesome merch, and everything anime, manga, and geek centric to show you guys because it's been a while. And so here we go. Here's here's the montage. Here's the beginning of the montage, guys. I found Nicole. Hello. <laughs> how how has it been? How, how are you How are you doing? <sighs> Good. Yeah. You, how how uh, you know with the, the the question that I've been asking everyone is how does it feel to get back into conventions since uh, the pandemic? It feels really weird. Really yeah. weird to be back. Especially like almost like two years of nothing, and almost then all of a sudden. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's crazy. And and. If I sneeze, it's because I have allergies. Oh, I, I swear you. it's not. Yeah, it's like I'm, it's terrible. I'm, I just, I'm very, I get very sneezy, and my, uh, my, my uh -oh. eyes start watering. Literally, I was recording some uh, anime figurines, and I sneezed twice, and like oh this group of four people just walked away. <laughs> They're like, nope. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I get it, right? It's, fun. it's, yeah, it's been a while, but yeah. yeah. Um, well, are, you, are you are you excited though? Regardless of you know the the whole it being weird and awkward because it's been a while. Like, are you excited for cons, or are you just kind of like? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the. Uh, I'm excited, like I'm really, really pumped. But at the same time, I'm also like, uh, just both. because, like, well, because like con crud is so, like, rampant at cons. Like everyone always is like, oh, con crud, con crud. Because somebody comes to the con sick, and we're in the middle of a pandemic, and you know something is gonna show up. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, ho hopefully, I mean, it's. I, I, I think if it was like really, I mean, it is a problem, obviously. But I think if it's a, if it was a real problem, like how it was a year ago, yeah, this wouldn't, they wouldn't have opened, right? No. So there's, there's, there's definitely still having their COVID mandates and stuff. So I know people are watching this like, Pity, how could you go to a convention like this? And blah, blah, blah. and why well, you're not six feet apart? Oh my yeah, god, no. we're not. We are like uh, zero feet apart. We're like a couple inches. Oh no, her, oh, her tit is on my, <laughs> her tit was on my forearm. But yeah, we're. <laughs> I, I, I think it'll be okay. But, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, then, like, so. And then also people that you know and can trust. Like, I'm a little bit more like, okay, like, I feel comfortable knowing that you've been safe yeah. to approach you. Whereas, like, other people, I'm like, cool, I got my table distance from you. You stay over there. <laughs> yeah. So, it'll, it'll, it'll be interesting. Like, I'm, I'm going to be in costume in, uh, and on Sundays. My, oh, no. Tomorrow is my Deadpool Saturday, day. Yeah. And, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. I'm gonna be touching everybody, so it's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see how that turns out.
puppies! Actually, they're not puppies anymore, but I call them puppies because they're dogs. I call dogs puppies. But anyways, here are the little doggies. Kiba, CL. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's up? CL, I Oh, oh, she's. She wants a kissy. Look, look at her. Uh, kitty, kitty onesie. <laughs> and Kiba. Kiba, do you remember me? Do you remember me? We had, we had, we had many of fights and battles, which you, you, we, you have won all of them. But uh, hello. So I hope you guys like that uh, little montage of all the, the Mikus here. I have the guy, this is the guy who owns the collection. How are you doing, sir? Good, and you? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, how long have you been collecting Miku? How long have you been a fan of Miku? And uh, yeah, let's, let's start with that, let's start with that. I've been collecting uh, most of the anime stuff for going on like about 15 years now. And I've uh, liked Miku since she came out like what? 2008. Did you get into the Miku craze because of the character or were you into Vocaloid, uh, the uh, music program, or what, what got you into Miku specifically? I'd go with the character design right off okay. the bat and then uh, found out that the, she did songs and uh, fell in love with her since then. How long have you been collecting Miku figurines? Uh, she was the first one and that oh, started wow. back in like like mid 2000s or something like that. Started out with the uh, the Nindos. I got like most of the uh, the pre 100 ones. Oh wow! So you started from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Because awesome. it's mainly just Miku at first. Yeah. But now it's just uh, it's everything. Thank you for talking to me, and uh, I'll yeah. hope you enjoy your convention, man. Yeah, I'll see you All around. Right. Thanks for talking, man. Yep. Thank you. here at the Saboten Otaku Closet, which is basically like a swap meet. A lot of attendees bring their own stuff and they sell them. This allows attendees to come in, bring their collection or bring stuff that they don't want to sell or want to get rid of and, you know, share the wealth and um, sell some of their stuff to other attendees. It's pretty cool. You can find a bunch of rare stuff or just stickers, t-shirts, apparel, you know, uh, statues, figures or whatever and, and it's maybe some manga and it's pretty cool because you gotta, you know, make friends, you gotta talk to right. people who are also buying the same stuff and uh, yeah so let's go see what they got
adjusting and there you go. Ha <laughs> ha 